Anyway, Anyone this is your old pal Ein, and uh, I'm just I'm here to to tell you all about our new echo pedal called the minivan. As you can see, uh, it works with a microphone. It works with a lot of other stuff too, uh, including but not limited to single coil guitar, humbuckers, eleven strings, tiny drum machines. <laughs> Baritones, acoustic guitars, <laughs> cables that are plugged into nothing, five string guitars, <laughs> minivan prototypes, drum pads, bass guitars, keyboards. <laughs> It is a good old-fashioned echo pedal. Uh, works very well in the short range, as you can hear right now. And it also gets really long. So long. It's uh, got pretty basic controls, um, delay for delay time, feedback for the number of repeats, and mix, which I tend to keep all the way up here. Um, so you'll notice on the dial here, we're at like mm, 10 o'clock and it's already getting a little funky. So when you have your delays shorter, they, they're gonna sound a lot cleaner. But since we are Dwarfcraft devices, we gave you a lot more room on that delay knob. But you still have your more traditional short delays that are so sort of clean and easy up there. Of course, we would not leave you without self-oscillation. This effect also works with distortion, such as our popular Eau Claire Thunder.
So the other very cool trick that we have in the minivan is this insert loop right up here. What I have here is a TRS cable, also known as a stereo quarter inch. And then I'm sending one end of that to the input on this Wizard of Pitch prototype and the tip to the output. I focus the camera and then I move the pedals and then I fix the tablecloth and then I move the camera. <laughs> So when you have an effect in the insert loop, the audio of the delay passes through that effect over and over and over again. So for example, when you're using a pitch shifter here, let's turn everything on, the pitch will continue to rise with each repeat. Tremolo is also fun. Let's do a tremolo. Lo, 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 lo. Uh, that insert loop there is going to be a real good time for experimenting, making cool new sounds, dirty, murky, cool new sounds. I command thee. Uh, the other cool trick there is you can plug in an expression pedal and that will control the feedback amount. Just, you know, like a regular old expression pedal. Where do I, how do I plug it in? 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 I'll show you. Just unplug this thing in this hole here. Okay, there's the expression pedal. You plug it in right there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hear all your other stuffs. Just minivan with an ex expression pedal. So, ah, uh, you're like, why is there only one repeat when the feedback is all the way up? And that's because of expression pedal, which I recently showed you how to plug it in. How to plug it in. Up here, that's how you plug it in. It's all the way dialed back now. I'm using the M Audio expression pedal. Hold on, we just have to make sure we're getting enough uh, string noise in the vocal microphone. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be right for me to demonstrate this pedal and not show you on the bass guitar. So, 
Uh, here it goes. It's a little song by a little band that you've never heard of. I invented this, so believe me. I blew it. All right, boys and girls, that is the meat and potatoes of the minivan echo.